Hey everybody, welcome to my video. This is my best Instant Pot pot roast recipe. So you're gonna need these things right here, a one and a half to three pound roast, depending on how many people you're feeding, baby carrots, potatoes, and a package of La Tortilla Barbacoa Sauce Starter Pack. This stuff is amazing and you are going to love, love, love it. Here is a picture of just all the ingredients I have. So there's only four of them. It's super easy. Of course, you need an Instant Pot. Um, so here we go. First, what I'm doing here is showing you a package. <laughs> no, just kidding. So first I'm doing here is you're going to read the directions on the back of the packet. Um, it talks about mixing the packet in a bowl with some water. You're going to do that. I can't remember how much water it was, but uh, here we go. Um, I can't see. Anyways, mix it with however much water it tells you on the packet in a bowl. Um, once you get all that mixed up. So just to give you guys a heads up on this stuff, this is what I usually use um, without potatoes or carrots. I just use it for a roast, this seasoning. Um, and usually it's, it's like a barbacoa flavor, so it's kind of spicier, I guess. Something I would usually put with maybe like tacos or um, something like that. But today we had some potatoes and carrots I wanted to use up. And so I said, you know what, I'm just going to throw them in there and see what it tastes like. And we're going to have a roast instead of um, just some like tacos or whatnot. And I was kind of iffy on it because I thought maybe it'd be a weird flavor combination to have with um, potatoes and carrots. But I can tell you I was surprising. I was surprising. I can't talk. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised. And... Both my kids, who are, one of them is extremely picky, absolutely loved it, um, as well as my husband, and he, I was worried he was going to say it was weird, but he actually asked me, what did you do to this? This is so good. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what I did. So I guess the seasoning works good in both tacos and with regular roast. Okay, so what I just showed you here is I poured about a little more than half of the um, seasoning packet water mixture into the bottom of the Instant Pot. You want it to just cover the bottom of the Instant Pot. That way you don't get any um, burned um, any burned food. You need to have some liquid in the bottom. So a lot of recipes will tell you to um, sear the roast first. I did not want to do this. It's not something I normally do. I know it does give it good flavor, but I can tell you from this recipe, which I've used many times, this roast is amazing. You're going to love, love, love it. So what I'm doing here, my roast, I had thought it out overnight, um, but it was still mostly frozen, but able enough to cut it. I like to cut it into about three pieces. Um, that way it's just, it cooks a little faster, especially when it's frozen. And I find it helps it get um, a little bit more tender because the juices can reach the inside or um, more of the meat easily. So I'm cutting this up. Pretty exciting. Cutting, cutting, cutting. Oh, here we go. Now I'm going to put it in the pot. Super easy. So if anybody has some good Instant Pot recipes, please comment down below and post them because I absolutely love them. It's my favorite. I use my Instant Pot at least once or twice a week. Okay, so you can see in here, and I'm taking the rest of the sauce and I'm pouring it on top of the roast. That gives it nice, good coverage. Gets it really moist. Then we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure you, if you're unfamiliar with an Instant Pot, make sure you put it in the lock position. Then you're going to want to put the valve into the closed position so no steam can come out. And then I'm going to set it to, there's a meat setting on this one, so I'm going to hit meat, 45 minutes, high pressure, and start. That's pretty much it. Like I was saying, if anybody has some good Instant Pot recipes, please let me know because I love them. Would love it if you would subscribe to my channel so you can check out more recipes I have and please give me some. I would love to make videos of any ones you guys have that are good and let my family try them. Okay, so here we are 45 minutes later. I'm going to do a quick release. So I'm going to hit stop and get something that is not your hand and open the valve, let all the steam out. 
It's super hot, of course, so please don't burn your hands. So you can see here I already have my potatoes washed and cut up. Um, I think I cut the potatoes into eighths, maybe. Um, you can cut whatever size you prefer. But that's just what the size I went with was. So I'm actually poking holes in the meat now because we're going to cook it longer. And when you poke it at this point, you're going to feel it's cooked, but it's definitely not done. Um, it's a little tough, but I'm poking holes in it so that some more of the juice can get into the inside. And now I'm going to go ahead and put all the potatoes and carrots in there. I don't remember how many potatoes and carrots I put in. I basically just eyeballed it to see how much I thought our family would eat so we didn't have a ton left over. Um, because we are not that great about eating our leftovers here. My kids are very picky about them. Okay, so what I'm doing here is getting a ladle. And you're going to scoop some of that super delicious um, seasoning and juice and pour it all over the top of the vegetables and the roast. Oh, something I want to add here. I didn't do this just because I didn't have it on hand, but if you want to add any other vegetables in there, you certainly can. I mean, I would love to see what other ideas you guys have to, for, to add for vegetables in this because I'm sure really anything would be good. Okay, so all done scooping the sauce. Put the lid back on. Voila. Lock position, of course. Make sure you put that valve in the closed position. I have done that many times. Started cooking something. Didn't realize till way later that it wasn't cooking because the valve was open. Um, I went ahead and turned it back on for meat. High pressure, 35 minutes. And... We're all done. Something to note here, you won't see any steam come out because I actually forgot about it for about 20 minutes. So it was um, kind of in the warming position or whatever it's called. So all the steam had already come out. So, But you can go ahead and do a quick release, which basically means you use a tool to open the valve and all the steam comes out. So in case you were confused about that. And here's Madison telling me it smells so good. And here's the final product. Super delicious, super yummy. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe. Thanks, guys.